what is up everybody it's gamers light and we just finished some advanced oil processing about goddamn time so as you can see i've done a little bit of work on the base and uh basically basically um uh, i've been uh expanding and researching and uh i've done quite a bit so uh let's just catch you guys up um but before we do that let's finally crack this stuff um so we want to do that one in, in this one right so that it that should work we have water and heavy oil and then this one will crack like that um so i've been waiting to do that for a long time now uh but let's make some extra pipe 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 there's some pipe. And then let's uh, connect this back up to the main petroleum. Um, I'm probably going to make one of these a pipe to ground. Uh, just like that. There we go. Um, so as you see, we just got a little bit of petroleum there. Or maybe it's filling up all the way back. Um, Uh-oh. We got a we got a biter invasion. We got one of our one of our lines too. Oops. Yeah. So so this is the other problem I've been having. Um, they're uh, they're just kind of coming out of nowhere and attacking my base. Now I don't know where they're coming from, right? And I had a radar for a while. I think I still have it in my inventory, but uh, we were a little bit low on power, so I picked it up. So as you can see, I have it though. Uh, let's start a new research. Uh, electrical engine sure um, so right now it's actually this is going there right or no we're not getting any heavy oil at all because that's oh really we need to switch these are you fucking kidding me god that that is really stupid why can't I switch these god damn it all right so that's going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. I think we're just going to move this whole thing over a little bit. Um, so if we could get it, it might be easier like there, right? So we're going to want to split this like that. So the water needs to come in there. So let's just grab this guy. So that is making the water go all the way over there. But I think we're going to need... Um, another one, another underground, uh, which should be right there. Uh, and then let's, oh my good god, this is going to be such a mess. Um, so, we want to bring the water um, up, up like that, oh, but also back down like that, right? So, just like that. Then we're going to want the heavy oil to come in like that. Oh god. Uh, and then we want that. Am I right? Am I right? So this is working now. This is working. Okay, good. Now we just need to work on this one. <laughs> Alright, so for this one, this one shouldn't be as bad. Um, let's, let's move this a bit more to the side, right? And then let's, we could pull that, no, let's, let's not have those connect. We do that, and then we can just have this go underground, so let's make an underground. Oop, and, and one more pipe, that is not a pipe, but, uh, there we go. So now our petroleum production should go way up um, you know let's make a couple more uh, let's make let's make one more pipe to ground and we'll put it right here so we can get into this mess a bit easier uh, so let's pick that and like that right and then we'll do some of that so there we go uh, we got that all figured out so uh, like I said I've been doing a lot of work uh, I've done a bunch of techs um, so yeah, let's uh, let's show you guys what's up. I added another mine here, 
Um, this guy, the electric furnace here, is actually putting iron. It's the only. It's the only one that's putting iron over here, actually. But uh, it's it's doing a good job right now. And then I set up auto crafting for a lot of things, as you can probably tell. I think at the end of last episode we had the plastic basically set up. Uh, but so here's our plastic, right? We should have enough petroleum to do a lot more things now as well. So there's our plastic. And then it leads to our sulfur. Well, the petroleum line leads to the sulfur, uh, which, turn, which in turn becomes sulfuric acid, which in turn becomes batteries, uh, which are just outputting to a chest right now. Uh, but we are definitely going to be using some of them this episode, I can guarantee. Uh, and then we just have a... Um, uh, a little setup for advanced circuits because they're just such a pain to actually craft in your inventory so and they are required for these guys same as batteries so what I figure right is that we we do we do some some high high quality crafting over here right so the only thing that we're missing from the actual blue pack, we have the battery, we have the advanced circuit. The only really hard thing is the smart inserter, right? Now, a smart inserter uh, requires a fast inserter and electronic circuits, and that requires electronic circuits, iron plate, and a normal inserter, which, you know. Okay. Which also needs a lot of copper, which brings me to our other problem, uh, that this is not fast enough for this setup here. So what I think I might do is add another mine uh, whoops. Add another mine and another furnace. Uh, the furnace is keeping up perfectly fine right now, but if we had two mines, I think it won't keep up. Um, I think it won't keep pace. Um, also, since, you know, it's been a long, it's been a while, uh, I added, I added these, these tanks to actually, you know, be able to get petroleum. But, um, now that we have, um, the, the splitting or whatever whatever it's called cracking right uh, these sh it should actually use those um, so we have the electrical engine as well and I think we're gonna get into flight I want to get into logistics robots as fast as we possibly can also trains are cool uh, we might want to do some trains but uh, we also need to work on some base defenses so basically uh, we are completely screwed right now uh, and that's basically what I'm saying um, let's look at our power production though, because I've added a lot of stuff, right? So our production and our consumption are we that's a good ratio, right? We're we're good. When the solar panels go off, we're still good, and we have a couple of accumulators down there. Uh, we can always make a lot more. Uh, we can make twenty five right now. Uh, they're pretty easy to craft. I was thinking about like setting up a quick auto craft for them um, just because they actually take some time like they take 10 seconds each so that's a little bit of a pain in the ass um, so I was thinking of, about just possibly doing a little bit of auto crafting I don't know like over here possibly uh, just so we can get get a bunch of accumulators um, I want to eventually possibly get completely solar powered and at night we would just use all the accumulators um, because the steam engines well they're good they use a lot of coal and they make a lot of pollution and the aliens do not like me already so trust me it'll only get worse from here uh, we also need to replace like this entire line with uh, electric furnaces which is going to be kind of a pain but uh, then we can slowly get rid of this coal line which is good um, you know these really don't use that much coal anyway but still uh, they make a lot of pollution 3.6 these obviously the mining drills make the, the most pollution out of everything that we have which is unfortunate but you know since there's not really much we can do about that because uh, we, we need resources it's just you know bound to happen so like I said we I did put down the radar for a little bit and you can actually see a couple bases all the way up there but I don't think that's where we're being attacked from oops uh, I don't know where we are being attacked from which is the biggest problem right so 
Uh, I think right now, let's expand this copper a little bit. Um, so we want another drill, and we also want a furnace. Um, so let's grab some more of those, and one of those. So, uh, right, let's move this one as well. So I think we're going to want to set it up like this, maybe? Like, yeah, like that, that should be fine, I'm pretty sure, right? So let's, let's grab our belts. Oh wait, this one's too far back, actually. Um, let's just do it like that. I think that that'll be the easiest. And then we can just uh, put it like that. And it'll be on both sides, which means that there's more on the belt, which is better in the long term. Uh, we just lost copper for a little while, though. Uh, we might want this to be a fast inserter here, but I'm not sure it needs to be. So let's let's grab this guy and put him right there. And let's also grab an inserter. Let's grab two inserters and also So if I want this inserter to put it on No, it's not what we want. Like that. No, it'll all be on the same side. You know that that should be fine. Um, I, I I I'm I'm hoping it should be fine. Um, so let's do that and that. So it will all be on the same side, which means that there's a little bit less on the belt. But um, I don't think we're gonna use copper fast enough right now that it needs to not be on both sides of the belt, so it should be fine, I'm, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, yeah, it, it should make it all the way, but all the way down there, uh, which is good, which is, uh, it's kind of what we need, we needed to make it all the way down, uh, which it definitely is now, so that's good. And eventually, you know, when, when this chest is full of advanced circuits, it'll stop production and then we'll make a big backlog. But as you see, we already have a backlog here because of how long these guys take. <clears throat> so, on top of that, I do want to set up auto crafting for the blue packs because they're such a pain. I kind of wanted to do it over here, but batteries and plastic are already over here, right? And advanced circuits is what I meant to say, right? Now, if we did get logistics robots, it wouldn't be a problem because we could just have the robots deliver it over here, which would be awesome. But I don't think, let's take a look at the tech tree, right? So the actual logistics robots are good, right? But that, that's only a passive provider chest, right? We need the logistics system right so the, with the logistics system we need 150 yeah so that uh so we we need requester chests to be able to do this right we need to say you know hey i always want you know so many advanced circuits and so many batteries in this chest and we're not gonna be able to do that with just the normal logistics robots um so i mean Hmm. This is kind of rough. I don't know what to do, really, because having, like, we could, we could craft all the science packs. Or, you know what else we could do? We could literally set up the, um, the smart inserters over here, right? So that's, I mean, we have steel. We have plenty of steel here. Now, if we set up the uh, smart inserters over here, right, we we could just grab all the materials we need and craft it. That would make crafting it a lot faster. I mean, it still wouldn't be, you know, amazing, but it would be a lot faster. I think we might do that and just actually wait for logistics robots because I, I really want to just logistics robot this entire, my entire area, really. 
the the other problem is how much power are they actually going to take? I'm not really sure. So, I mean, we'll find out, I'm sure, uh, after a little while. But I, I think we should do that. I think... I'm thinking that we're just going to literally logistic robot everything. Um, so let's let's get started then. Uh, for the smart inserters, we need we need to go all the way back to normal inserters, and they all require electronic circuits. So we're going to need electronic circuits up the yin yang here. So that's iron and copper. So let's craft like a bunch of these. Uh, so let's grab some iron off the line. There we go. You could have just probably grabbed it out of these uh, like that. Uh, we can only make two. And that's because we're short on copper. Which is fine because we can just run up the line, make two more. Now we're short on iron. So let's grab that and that and that. Okay. So we can make four more now. Let's just make two more. And uh, then we'll see how it's going. So, I mean, we have the steel output here, right? And we, we don't need that much steel. Like, right now, to be honest. We aren't requiring steel for anything except, really, solar panels. Uh, which, you know, I can just take some and, and make some solar panels for right now, of course. Uh, let's get this long-handed inserter. And let's set up a separate iron line. We might need a couple long-handed <laughs> inserters. So let's set up this separate iron line. Do we want it to be on this side, though? Right? Because we're going to need a lot of copper. And we're going to... Do we want to pull the copper straight off the main? I'm not so sure. We could. We definitely could. We could put, you know, a splitter here and do the underground belt. Or, you know, a normal belt. And then an underground right here. And then... Yeah, I think we might do that. So let's get a splitter and some normal belt and an underground belt. Let's get a little bit more normal belt. And then let's get, yeah, that should be it. Should be all we need, right? So uh, we, we're going to want it to be there, I think. Uh, and then we'll put that like that. And then we will straighten this guy out. Um, and then the underground, which apparently I already had a couple. Uh, let's do like that. And then we can, whoops, turn this. Do we want this to go on the other side of the copper? Possibly. So let's, let's, let's grab some of these, right? So we, we're going to need a lot of copper wire. So I think having two copper wire ones would probably be handy. So, you know, those two can make copper wire. Um, and then these two could make electronic circuits, maybe. And then, you know, okay, so let, let, let's see. So if those two are making copper wire, right, that's going to be a lot of copper wire. This is going to go to electronic circuits. Both of these, I think, should be electronic circuits. Uh, which means we're going to need to get the iron over there somehow. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. <clears throat> um, and then maybe these two are iron gear wheels. So we're going to, if we're doing it like this, we're going to need a, like a shitload more of these, uh, which is fine. Let's just grab some more iron. All right, two more. Cool. Um, so these two are going to be gear wheels, and then maybe the last two will be the actual inserters. Um, and then... No, I don't think that's going to work. I th I'm thinking that we're going to have to redo this setup a little bit, right? So I think this, this one here, could be the... Uh, could be the electronic circuits or maybe maybe we don't have to so say this one's electronic circuits and then this one is gears and then let 
maybe maybe we could put one right here that could be uh, the actual inserters so and then we could output more electronic circuits this way or we could have another electronic circuit maker right there I don't know what the best setup for this is going to be this is going to have to be moved back I think yeah um, so this won't really work I don't, I don't think um, Yeah, so this is going to get in the way a little bit. Mm. Um, we could just put the red science packs over here. Um, let's go down. Keep doing that. All right, let's let's do this for the red science packs for right now. Um. Let's get a normal inserter. So yeah, this this setup for the, the smart inserters, I want them to be to be fast enough uh, that we don't really have to worry about them for a while at least. Uh, because you know they're they're like the hardest thing to make for the blue science packs. At least I think they are, right? And they require just so much random crap. Like, just so many electronic circuits, you know? So let's, uh, let's try to make fudge. So this one is going to be the... The, the gears for sure right let's just make a bunch of inserters we might want to upgrade them to fast inserters eventually so so this one is going to be copper wire for sure so then maybe this one will be iron gears and then maybe this one's electronic circuits so we have that that and then can can this do no there's no way all right well unless we put this forward a little bit which no still it's too close then Oof. let's just put it out there right and then we'll get uh, the iron the iron gear wheels coming out and we'll also have the electronic circuits coming out right so if this is making electronic circuits it needs that that and then this is this one's gonna need to be really fast I think right this one will be will need to be as well so if that's making electronic circuits then we're going to want it to mm. Ugh. this is so frustrating um, let's let's make we need more inserters let's grab a little bit more copper a bit more iron and make ourselves some more inserters Um, all right, and then let's, let's tell this what it's doing, right? So this is making copper. This is going to make, yeah, you got it. All right. This is going to put that there and that's also going to put that there because we're going to need those fast. Uh, let's grab some more this, uh, and then let's, ugh, I just need to get rid of those for a sec. Um, Let's make some more inserters. We're short on iron. We have iron right here. Um, let's make some more inserters. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's going to be electronic circuits. 
This doesn't need to be a long handed. This can be just a normal. And then this is going to be the iron gear wheels, right? And then that can just be normal as well. Might need to move that. Um, <clears throat> so, iron gear wheels will go like so, maybe? Uh, so let, let's tell it to make iron gear wheels, right? And then have it output and input. And then we need to tell this one to actually make the inserters. So this does need normal iron plate as well. Uh, we could use a long handed right right there. Will that work? It will. So there we go. Uh, now we just need it these to be on a line. That turns a little bit, right? So let's do that. This this setup's gonna be like so inefficient, I can already tell, but it it'll be fine, I I hope. <laughs> so I mean we need a way to get the iron around to the other side. Do the other things actually require any more copper? So let, let let's take a look, right? So I know that they need more electronic circuits. But it doesn't really require any more copper, right? So what I figure we can actually do is is probably just tell these to go all the way around. Um, like so. And then over here, we can just have a splitter and have... Jesus Christ. Um, and have some more uh, iron over here. So let's do that, I think. That should work. So let's make a splitter. Um, and also some more underground belt. So splitter, underground belt, some normal belt. So we have the splitter. Uh, putting it right there should be fine. And then I don't know if we're actually going to need underground belt. Uh oh, where? Why do they always attack the fucking coal lines? Man, we need. What? More of them. Where? I don't see them. They're gone. I was, was kind of scared there for a sec. So we are getting alien attacks, uh, which is unfortunate. But I don't really know what to do about that for right now. Uh, we're just going to keep doing our thing. Hope they leave us alone for a little while. That's not going to happen, but... You never know. I like how I'm just putting iron all over this copper. I feel kind of bad. Um, we need it to turn here. We can just have it going down then. There's our 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 our, uh, our one belt that's in in disrepair right now. Um, so now we have these right. So we're gonna need do 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 that and that. We need the normal inserters to come out like that. Right, so the normal inserters go here, which in turn become faster inserters, which in turn become smarter inserters. Right, so now we just go like that, that, that. Uh, we need a little bit more uh, like that. That needs to be one shorter. And we need one more inserter and a bunch of electric pull. We actually have a bunch of electric pulls. Whatever, I tried. Uh, so that should be functional. 
functional, not not uh, in any way clean, but functional. Uh, let's get a export chest. Uh, so let's get a inserter and let's get a steel chest because trust me, we're gonna want a lot of these. Uh, God damn it, we need another fucking electric pole. Um, eventually, we're gonna want to move this setup too because it, it is on the copper. It is taking up most of the copper. So that's a problem. Um, we do have copper over there and up, up there and on the map. If you guys can see that, uh, there is a large, large copper vein down there, up there, up there. Got some more iron. You know, we're, we're in good shape uh, resource wise, I'm pretty sure. Uh, these, these are still looking fantastic on the amount uh, that they have. Pretty sure, 46k, yeah, we're, we're good. Um, oof, geez. So, now that we have that done, um, making, making um, these guys sh should take a lot less time. So, um, yeah, next time we are going to do logistics robots. I'm going to finish up flight and logistics well, I'm going to at least start on logistics robots. Now that we have all the things that we need to actually craft the blue packs, I can just go AFK for a little bit. Um, actually, going AFK with the biters might not be a good idea, uh, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on it and um, make sure we don't die. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like me as a person, definitely subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.